Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop, which apparently is lit by the sun today, even though it's not in here. For whatever reason, the camera's decided that it's going to blow everything out. I guess it's just the angle it's pointed at at the moment. But, got the transmission yoke in here, and I'm going to attempt to turn it to something I can use to mount the hub on. Probably should have just gone ahead and uh, took a cutoff wheel to it and cut the flanges off. Probably be safer than what I'm going to do here, but uh, you know, who knows. It's kind of hard. It's it's uh, a further distance through than a cutoff wheel of reach, so uh, it would be a little bit of a butcher job that way too. So, let's see how it goes. I'll uh, try to take it slow and easy and not fling this thing out of the chuck. And hopefully I won't machine too terribly difficult, although I'm sure it's a good piece of steel, so it probably will be very difficult. But all I know to do is fire up the lathe and start whittling on it and see if we can get something it can use out of it. Here's your cut off. Let's try this again. Getting there. I know some of you love a good spark show, so I'll let you watch a couple rounds.
It's blue chips. Get into a circle. I'm gonna face this flat and see what I got. Almost cleaned up. And I go down to this hub, will go over it, so still got a ways to turn off. Alright, so what I want is a through bore 2750, looks like. socket fence and yeah, for the most part all right so I got the bore cut now I gotta cut it for this to press in and then I'll weld it so there you go three quarters of an inch deep three inch diameter I'll give it five thousandths press I want it tight so, 2995, here we go. All right. 
right, so got it all machined up here. This is the old yoke. I'm just going to press into this piece. And I'm going to weld all around it like a drive shaft tube. And that should have one side done. So I'm going to get this in the oven and get it hot and put this together. And I'll bring you back. Well, there it is. One side done. Got the old yoke welded in. So, let's go on the transmission side. Now I gotta do the one that goes on the back end. And wait on a uh, shaft to come in. I'm waiting on the seal for this other yoke to show up or hub. Once I get that, I'll be able to finish that side. So, currently working on it. Wasn't really big enough to do what I wanted to do, so I had to do a weld build up on it. So, once this cools down, I'll be ready to start machining on it. But that'll be another project for another week. So that's what it's going to look like for the one half. I just got to make the other half. Of course, I won't be able to put it on with the engine in here, just like I can't tighten that flange up. So I'll have to pull it back out to finish that. But it's getting close. Tune in next time. Maybe we'll have that half attached to the other half. So lots of machining to do on it. Still, get that thing prettied up. All right, there they are. Yoke's turned off, welds built up. Got it machined. Good enough. Sand's not perfect, but it's really just acting as space when it presses into this. To set the distance correct so I got six thousandths press on this so it's gonna be super tight I'm gonna get this in the oven and see if I can't beat it together that'll have this second yoke done